Hi, in this Inkscape tutorial I am going to be demonstrating how to create a shiny glassy looking button like the one that you see here. Okay, To start with I'm going to move this out of the way so I can have a clear area to work with and I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle that's the size of the button that I want to create and on here there's a little handle that I can grab that will allow me to change the corners to determine how rounded I would like them to be so I think I'm going to set it about right there okay now one of the keys to making a shiny button is to take is to make copies of this button and apply effects to them um, and just apply them right on top of the of this button right here that I've created so to do that I'm going to start by clicking the right mouse button and I'm going to select duplicate and so what that did is it made an exact copy of the button and placed it right on top of it so to show you this I'll go up here to the select tool and I can move this copy that I just made off to the side so that you can see that I now have two of them um, so let me put this back into place now now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change the color of this top button to black. And then I'm going to select the gradient tool. And what the gradient tool does is it allows me to apply a transparency effect to this black button that I have here. And to show you that, I'll click the left mouse button and then I drag the other end up. Uh, until about there. That looks pretty good. And so what I actually did was this whole area was the black button, but everything above this line right here is completely transparent, so only the red shows through from the red button underneath. And then in between this, this square right here and this one below, it'll gradually change it to a more opaque look. So clear down at the bottom it would be completely black, clear at the top here and above it's completely transparent and in between it's just a it's a varying gradient of that um, so to kind of show you what that looks like I'll use the selection tool again and this top layer that used to be completely black I'll just kind of move it off to the side and you can see the effect that was created on that okay so let me go ahead and put this back into place Okay, now I'm going to create a, another copy of this button. So again, I'm going to right-click the mouse, and I'm going to choose Duplicate again. And this time, I'm going to change the color of it to gray. And again, I can, I can move this off the top, and so you can see that I just created an exact copy of one of these buttons, and it's just sitting right on top of it. So let me place this back into place. Okay, now I'm going to select the circle tool and I'm going to create kind of an oblong shape. And let me change that to a different color temporarily just so that we can distinguish it from this gray button pattern here. Um, and using the select tool, I can now move this around and position it. And what I want to do is I don't want it to be centered. It actually looks better if I position it off-center a little bit so I pull it a little bit to the right and now I'm going to go down to the gray button I'm gonna press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard and press the left mouse button and what that allows me to do is, is to select this gray button without deselecting the green oval that you see here and then I'm gonna go up to the path menu and I'm going to select intersection and what that will do is it'll take wherever the gray button intersected the green oval wherever that intersection is it'll leave that shape behind Then anywhere that they do not intersect that area is cut away so now I have the intersecting area and I'm going to come down here and change that to the color white and then I'm going to select the gradient tool again and starting from above 
using the left mouse button I'm going to drag this down and so now I'm controlling the transparency of that white segment and that looks pretty good right there so you can see already that we're starting to get the kind of the glassy shiny look okay now what I want to do is actually this area here that, that I just turned kind of a whitish color I want to shrink that down a little bit and that'll let some of the the red button show around the very edge of it which will look like it's got kind of a beveled effect so to do that I go up to the path menu and I come down and I select inset and as you can see the inset reduced the size of that and now I have a beveled effect around the edge the next thing that we need to do is to add some text to the button so I'm going to go down to the text tool and I'm going to type in a little bit of text and then we need to use the selection tool over here and move this text down and resize it until we get it on the button um, to where it looks nice okay now one thing that you might notice is that the text right now is sitting on top of this whitish area here and the whitish area is what gave this the really shiny look so to get the text look shiny as well we need to move this white area on top of the text and we do that by first selecting it by using the left mouse button and then I go up to object and I select raise to top And when I select raise to top it puts that on the top of the text and now our completed button is finished thanks for watching